Do you remember the first time you stumbled upon the 1986 TV series, Head of the Class? Maybe it was late at night and you were flipping through channels, or perhaps you intentionally tuned in, drawn by the promise of teenage wit and academic antics. Regardless of how you found it, there's a good chance that this show left an indelible mark on your memory. Perhaps it was the quirky characters, the classroom camaraderie, or those unforgettable moments that had you in stitches. As we step back into the world of Head of the Class, let's reminisce about this classic series and unveil some fascinating facts that might surprise you. From behind-the-scenes trivia to the enduring impact it had on pop culture, this journey promises to be as enlightening as a well-earned a-plus on your report card. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready to dive into the world of Head of the Class, a show that made learning cool and laughter the best classroom companion. Let's embark on this nostalgic adventure together. Head of the Class, a popular TV series that aired from 1986 to 1991, was a groundbreaking show that blended humor, education, and an ensemble cast. The series followed a group of academically gifted high school students at the fictional Millard Fillmore High School in New York City, led by their unconventional teacher, Charlie Moore, portrayed by Howard Hesseman. Each episode featured both humorous and thought-provoking situations, often revolving around the clash of intellectual talents and teenage social dynamics. The show's iconic characters included not only the witty and charismatic Mr. Moore, but also his diverse group of students, such as the overachieving Arvid and Jen, the rebellious Darlene Merriman, and the endearing and lovable Dennis Blunden. These characters represented various aspects of teenage life, making them relatable to a broad audience. Head of the Class had a unique style in that it combined humor with intellectualism, challenging the stereotypes of nerds and popular kids. It celebrated the value of education while addressing typical adolescent issues like peer pressure and relationships. The show's distinctive blend of humor, heart, and intellect set it apart from other sitcoms of its time. In terms of its impact on popular culture, Head of the Class contributed to a greater appreciation for education and intelligence, making smart characters cool. It inspired many viewers to embrace their intellectual potential and paved the way for future TV series that celebrated academic achievement. The show also left a lasting legacy by showcasing the importance of diversity and teamwork, encouraging viewers to embrace differences and work together to achieve common goals. In conclusion, Head of the Class was a trailblazing TV series that combined humor and education through its iconic characters and unique style. It left a lasting impact on popular culture, challenging stereotypes, and promoting the value of intelligence and teamwork. It remains a beloved classic in the world of television. In the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, Brian Robbins, Dan Frischman, and Dan Schneider portrayed students. Later, they collaborated on Nickelodeon shows like Kenan and Kel, which Schneider and Robbins developed and produced, with Frischman starring in it. This marked a significant partnership that began on Head of the Class and continued in their successful careers in children's television. Unfortunately, I couldn't find substantial information on the other two ideas you mentioned. So, here's an interesting tidbit. In the show, Jover Coleman of Pakistani and European heritage wore dark makeup to play the Indian-American character Jawaharlal Chowdhury. This highlights the complexities of casting choices in television during that era. Stay tuned for more insights into your favorite shows. During the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, some cast members faced an age gap issue. By the final season, actors Dan Frischman, Tony O'Dell, and Michael DeLorenzo were all over 30 years old, yet they were portraying high school students. This age difference between the actors and their characters went unnoticed by many viewers, but it was a notable aspect of the show. Head of the Class ran for five years and featured the parents of 12 out of the 15 students. However, the parents of TJ, Aristotle, and Alan were never seen on screen. Alan's mother, who was a widow, also remained absent. The show's focus on the parents varied, with Simon's mother, Maureen, making more frequent appearances than others. In a Reddit thread from 2020, series co-creator Michael Elias revealed that the decision to change the lead actor from Howard Hesseman to Billy Connolly at the beginning of the fifth season was prompted by ABC's insistence to freshen up the show or face cancellation. 
Changing the lead character was seen as the most effective way to revitalize the series and keep it on the air. These insights shed light on some interesting aspects of the 1986 TV series Head of the Class. From age-related casting challenges to the presence of parents in the students' lives, the show had its share of unique elements that contributed to its appeal and evolution over its five-year run. In 1986, the TV series Head of the Class faced a notable departure. Howard Hesseman, who played the role of teacher Charlie Moore, left the show. Speculation arose that he left to revive his former show, WKRP in Cincinnati, but this wasn't the case. He didn't reprise his former role in the new WKRP in Cincinnati, which debuted after Head of the Class was canceled. The exact reasons for Hesseman's abrupt departure were never revealed, but he openly expressed dissatisfaction with the show's direction and his character's lack of development in various interviews during the show's run. While Head of the Class was primarily about a group of gifted high school students, it had its share of guest appearances. One notable episode featured the rapper Twista, who was challenged to a rap battle by Brian Robbins, one of the show's stars. This episode added a touch of musical flair to the series, showcasing its versatility and incorporating pop culture into the storyline. Notably, Tanny's Vallely, who portrayed the character Janice Lazarado in the series, attended Millican Middle School in Sherman Oaks, California, during the filming of Head of the Class. This tidbit provides a glimpse into the real-life context of the show's young cast members. In summary, Head of the Class faced a significant departure with Howard Hesseman, and despite speculation, he didn't return to his former show. The series also embraced pop culture by featuring a rap battle with Twista and had connections to the real-life experiences of its cast members. These aspects added depth to the show, which remains a memorable part of 1980s television. In 1986, the TV series Head of the Class featured interesting behind-the-scenes details. While researching, we found substantial information about the possibility of Howie Mandel replacing Howard Hesseman as the lead. In 1990, the show's producers considered Howie Mandel as a potential replacement for Howard Hesseman, who played the lead role on ABC's Head of the Class. However, in the end, they chose Scottish comic Billy Connolly for the role. This decision was a pivotal moment in the show's history, as it could have significantly changed the dynamic of the series. Howie Mandel, known for his stand-up comedy, and later for hosting Deal or No Deal, would have brought a different comedic style to the show compared to Howard Hesseman's portrayal. Ultimately, Billy Connolly took on the role, and the show continued with its unique blend of humor and education. It's interesting to think about how the show's trajectory might have been different if Howie Mandel had been chosen. And there you have it, an intriguing tidbit from the world of Head of the Class in 1990. Stay tuned for more interesting insights into your favorite shows. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the world of Head of the Class, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection you've forged with this remarkable 1986 TV series. Like the characters navigating the halls of Millard Fillmore High School, we've embarked on an adventure through wit, wisdom, and teenage trials. Perhaps you resonated with Mr. Moore's unorthodox teaching style, or found inspiration in the diverse group of students who came together in that iconic classroom. Maybe you couldn't help but smile at the clever quips and insightful lessons that punctuated each episode. Or perhaps you simply cherish the nostalgia of a bygone era. Whatever it is that made Head of the Class special to you, I invite you to share your cherished memories, thoughts, and anecdotes. Let your voice be heard in celebrating the impact this show had on your life, whether it ignited a passion for learning, forged lasting friendships, or left you with unforgettable moments etched in your heart. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of memories that Head of the Class has woven over the years, and by sharing, you become a part of this enduring legacy. So, take a moment to revisit those cherished moments and join in the conversation about this beloved series. Thank you for your time and interest in our exploration of Head of the Class. Your engagement has enriched our discussion, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories. Until next time, keep those classroom doors open and your minds ever inquisitive. Warmly.